Hey, hey everyone, it's, it's the House of Eyes again, and welcome to another deck profile of my Raid Raptor deck. I've had this deck for a while now, and haven't really thought of making a deck profile of it, but decided to go ahead and just make one anyway. So, let's go ahead and get started. I run two. Raid Raptor Tribute Lanius. That Tribute Lanius is actually a pretty good card to run in a Raid Raptor deck. But because that he what he does is when he's normal or special summoned, but you can send a send a send one Raider card from your deck to the graveyard. And that you can and when it destroys an opponent's monster by battle, that it that you have the choice to go ahead and that set a quick play rank up spell. So that's why that's I run him. So and I run three Vanishing Lanius. But I run Vanishing Lanius. Mainly because when he's normal or special summoned, but wait, normal or special, right? Uh, during my main phase, when this is normal or special summoned, I can special summon a uh, one level four or lower raid drafter monster from my hand. So that would help. That would help with tributes, Manius. So. And that would help with other cards in this deck too, so. Yeah, that's why I run that. So I run three Fuzzy Lanius. <clears throat> Fuzzy Lanius is a really good card to run because that when that if you control a Raid Raptor other than Fuzzy Lanius, you can special summon it, and when it's sent to the graveyard, like when it's sent to the graveyard in general, but you can add another Fuzzy Lanius from your deck to your hand. So that is actually really helpful since that since Raid Rush is more of a rank four spam deck, so. I run three Mimicry Lanius, and if I remember correctly, what he does is uh, once per turn during your main phase, if the scroll was no more special summoned, you, you can increase the levels of all Raid Raptor monsters you can currently control by one. And let's see, during your main phase, if this card is in your graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can banish this card. Add one Raid Raptor from your deck, except Mimicry Banius. So, yeah, that 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 also helps a lot. So, yeah. Got another another card from the rank four hand. I run two Raid Raptor Sharp Lanius, and thanks to Sharp Lanius. When he see if this is nor this is normal or special summon target one attack position on one attack position monster on the field, you change it to defense position. Also during my main phase two, when this attacked Yeah, this card this card attacked this turn on your main phase two that you get the special summon you get the special summon a raid raptor from your graveyard. I, like it doesn't even destroy the monster or anything. Like as long as it attacked that churn, that you get to special summon a raid raptor. So I run three necro vulture. Necro vulture. It I run him because that I run necro vulture because because of his effect is actually really well. Because 
that you can I can tribute one raid raptor and I could add a quick but no not quick. I could add one rank play spell card from my graveyard and add to my hand. Also the downside of that is that I can't Xyz summon that without that without using a rank up spell card for the rest of that turn. That's the downfall of that, so I run two booster strix. I run booster strix because that he can actually save that your boss monsters from being destroyed by battle because his effect is when he's in your hand, but whenever a Rage Raptor, yeah, whenever a Rage Raptor monster I control is target for an attack, I can banish, I can banish this from my hand. I can destroy the attacking monster. So, yeah, there's that. And I run two Singing Lanius. Singing Lanius is just another card for rank 4 spam because that he's special. I, I can special summon this if, if I control a Raid Raptor Xyz monster. As long as I control a Raid Raptor Xyz, I can special summon this from my hand. So, and seeing things are doing Zinc Room that holds these guys holds these guys back a lot. So, and I run Raid Raptor, Last Strix. Last Strix is for go ahead and bring out like a rank four right away and ranking it up and all that. So, like like the most has this effect negated and. Like as as effects negated and also also it is returned to the extra deck on the end phase. Also, you can only use this effect once per turn. Also, during damage calculation, on let's see, actually, if a radar figure control, no, my bad. If a Raid Raptor monster you control battles while you have any spell or traps on your field or in the graveyard during damage calculation in either player's turn, you can special summon this card from your hand and gain 100 life points for each spell and trap card you control in your graveyard. So, so yeah, he's also help, helpful for regaining life points. So, I run... Raid Raptor Pain Lanius and Pain Lanius that you can special summon this, but you have to take quite some burn damage because sorry, it's just been once since I last used this deck. Let's see. So first off, it cannot be used for an Xyz summon except for an Xyz summon of a winged beast type. And if this is in your, this is in my hand, in your hand, you can target one Raid Raptor monster you control that has a level, take damage equal to its attack or defense, whichever is lower, but your choice if tied. And if you do, special summon this card. And if you do that, this card's level becomes the current level of the targeted monster. So... I run three rank up magic skip force, but this is this is for ranking up by like I can rank up from a four to a six, a six to eight, and also during my main phase, except to turn this was sent to the grave, I can banish this and one raid after monster from your graveyard. Then target one Raptor Xyz from my grave and special summon it. So that's also really helpful. And I run two 
right after nest. But this is also helpful because you can control two or more raid raptors, but you can use this effect and that either go in your grave or a raid raptor you want or through your deck. Like you can go through your deck or your grave if I remember correctly. You can from your deck or grave or uh, to your hand. And it's only, but the downside is it's only once per turn. So, there's that. I run two Raid Raptor Call. Raid Raptor Call, now this, now, I don't use this that much either, so. <clears throat> you see, you target one Raid Raptor monster you control, special summon one monster, with the same name as that monster on the field from your hand or deck in defense position. So, but yeah, so yeah, you get to special summon another, like another fuzzy, another vanishing, or you get the point. I run two Soul Shape Force. Soul Shape Force. But basically, you just pay half your life points and target one Raid Raptor Xyz monster in your graveyard, bring it to the field, and Xyz summon a rank monster that's two ranks higher. So, that's all that's for. So, I run two rank up Doom Double Force. Doom Double Force, what it does is if a Raid Raptor, if a Raid Raptor Xyz monster in my control was sent to the graveyard this turn, then I can activate Doom Double Force, bring it back to the field, and bring out a Raid Raptor that's double its rank. So basically, I can bring out a rank 4, and if if on the if on that turn it was sent to the graveyard, let's see, yeah, an Xyz, Xyz, Raid Raptor Xyz monster in your graveyard that was destroyed by balance sent this turn. Special summon it. And a special summon from your extra deck one Xyz monster that would be twice that twice the rank of that Xyz. So that's for getting the big monsters out. So. I run two Raptors Gusts. It's pretty much like a Solomon Strike, but all you really need is to control a Raid Raptor monster. So the only difference is with this, it can only be it only stops spells and traps. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I if I ever get to any Solomon strikes, I actually do plan on running it. So I run three Raid Raptor readiness. This saves your Raid Raptor from being destroyed by battle that turn. For, which, to be honest, I think it could have been better if it said. It would stop them from being destroyed by battle or card effect for that turn. But I think it could have been better. But this is not this is not how it's going to be. So also, if I have a raid raptor monster in my graveyard, I can banish this, and I take no damage for the turn I banished it. So it don't actually saves you from. Losing the max too, so there's the deck. Now let's move on to the extra deck. So I run two Raid Raptor Force Tricks. I plan on run. I plan on running a third, but I gotta get a third one first. So and the only thing is this uh, Raid Raptor deck is there are no link monsters yet. Either? Yeah, there are no link monsters yet either. So but don't. There is, uh, 
yeah, they're all dark. So that uh, dark that is what that stuff that we got came out would be interpreted as dark. So we want to see if it's not just we find the dark to get the whole world, to get all the consciousness of the planet to destroy it. Oh yeah, I know I know the card you're talking about. I know no, what you're I, talking I about. Have one copy. But but yeah, I, yeah, I know what car you're talking about. I'll just forget the name of it. I'm just continuing on. Yeah, for, yeah, I guess we'll just continue on for now. But this is a searcher for radioactors. You detach one Xyz material, and once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card. Add one level four dark winged beast monster from your deck to your hand. Also, if you control any other winged beast, right? Um, yeah, any other winged beast monster, this card gains 500 attack and defense. This is, but, but yeah, this is more of a defensive card than a offensive. So that's I always round defense mode, and I'm pretty sure that's what almost everybody does. So. I run two Raid Raptor Rise Falcon, which to be honest, I plan on changing it to. I'm, I plan on switching him, switching him out for something else. So, like, like that new Link monster he was talking about. I think that, but so I, so if I. Ever get any of the new Link monster? I plan on taking these guys, taking out Rise Falcon, and switch and switching it for that Link monster because I think that would actually help out more. So wait, wait, I forget. But what? How many Links did he have again? I forget. Did you that one we were t just talking about? Uh, it's a link two monster. Is it link two? Yeah. I also run Blade Burner Falcon. Blade Burner Falcon is when this is Xyz summoned and your opponent's life points is at least 3,000 higher than yours. You can make this card gain 3,000 attack. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can detach. Any number of Xyz materials from this card destroy exactly that number of monsters your opponent controls. So basically, he has the thousand attack points right now. So basically, he would gain three thousand if your opponent's life, which are three thousand higher. So he would become a four thousand beater. And if we were to destroy an opponent's monster, but I could detach two Xyz materials. And destroy two more monsters. So I really think that actually helps out a lot, depending on what kind of deck I am facing. So yeah, I run also run two Blaze Falcon. And Blaze Falcon, if it has an Xyz material, you see the sure can attack directly while it has an Xyz material. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, I can detach one. So you can target one monster your opponent controls and destroy it. Also, once per turn, I can detach one Xyz material from this card, destroy as many special summon monsters my opponent controls as possible, and for each one, inflict 500 damage. So, this, I guess you say it's somewhat of a burner. And it's pretty much a destroyer and a burner at the same time. So, yeah, there's that. I run two Revolution Falcon. Revolution Falcon is I can detach one Xyz material from this card and it can attack all monsters the opponent controls once each, by the way. Also, at the, at the start of the damage step, if this card bows an opponent's face up special summon monster. That monster's attack and defense become zero. If this card has a red representation as an Xyz material, this is the effect it gains. Once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it, 
if you do inflict damage equal to half of that monster's original attack. So, I guess you can say it's for wiping out the opponent's board and burning as well. So, I run two Satellite Cannon Falcon. I run two because I think running two is well because that one, when he's Xyz summoned, I can, but I can destroy my opponent's whole back row and also your, also your opponent can act, cannot activate cards or effects in response to this effect's activation. Also, his, his, his own effect is a quick effect. You can detach one Xyz material from this card, then target one face up monster your opponent controls. It loses 800 attack and this loses 800 attack for each Raid Raptor in your graveyard. So, if you have a lot of Raid Raptors and they're all ready, that your opponent's, your opponent's monster will lose a lot of attack points. So, yeah, he's a back row killer, and he well, it decreases the opponent's monster's attack points by a lot if you have a lot of Raid Raptors in there. So, I also run Ultimate Falcon. Ultimate Falcon, I'm pretty sure everybody knows what Ultimate Falcon does. <clears throat> so, if you don't know, it's unaffected. By other cards' effects, you can detach one Xyz material from this card for the rest of this turn. All monsters your opponent controls will lose a thousand attack. Also, your opponent's cards and effects cannot be activated if this card has a Raid Raptor monster as an Xyz material. Let's see. Wait, no, we know this is different. We know this effect is different. If this card has a a Raid Raptor monster is an Xyz material against this effect. Once per turn, during the end phase, you can make all monsters your opponent controls lose a thousand attack. If your opponent controls no face up monsters, inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. So, I'm pretty sure you didn't need me explaining that because I'm pretty sure you all know what he does already. So, and for the final card in the extra deck, I run Raid Raptor Final Fortress Falcon. Final Fortress Falcon, but he's more of a multi attacker. He can attack three times and three times in one turn because if, if this card has an, has a Raid Raptor Xyz as an Xyz material, it's unaffected by other cards' effects. Also, once per turn. I can detach one material from this card and turn all banished Raid Raptor monsters to the graveyard. Also, up to twice per turn, when this card just when this card attack, let's see, when this card attacking card destroys a monster by battle, you can banish one Raid Raptor Xyz material from this graveyard. And this card can attack again in a row. So, yeah, in total, I can attack a total of three times, so, yeah, it's also really helpful against certain decks that really need their monsters, so, yeah, there's that, and that's the end of this deck profile. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be sure to see you in the next video.